And now a CBS News exclusive. Our David Martin has learned a U.S. Navy ship may have brought down more than one Iranian drone during a close encounter last week in the Strait of Hormuz. David Martin is the only TV correspondent traveling in the Middle East with the head of U.S. Central Command. The USS Boxer at sea in the 90-degree waters of the Persian Gulf. Nearly a week after the amphibious assault ship brought down an Iranian drone, CBS News went aboard with General Frank McKenzie, the top U.S. commander for the Middle East, who told us it now looks like the Boxer took down two drones. As always, it was a complex tactical picture. We believe two drones. We believe two drones were successfully engaged. There may have been more that, you know, that we're not aware of. Those are the two that we engaged successfully. So you, you actually brought down two drones, not just one? We're confident we brought down one drone. We may have brought down a second drone. Before the drone showed up, Iranian fast boats buzzed around the ship as it passed through the narrow Strait of Hormuz at the mouth of the Persian Gulf. Lieutenant you, Commander you, uh, Mark Gakowski was you're on the flight deck. Fast boats, they were all over the place. Um, some were Iranians. Um, maybe some weren't, but there were fast boats out there. For green, well, we're ready. Captain Ronald Dowdell, the commander of the ship, was on the bridge. The boxer was launching aircraft to patrol the strait, and he thought the drones would interfere with flight operations. They certainly presented a clear danger and hazard to flight operations and personnel. So you're the one that gave the order to take it out? I am. No one will say exactly what the weapon was, although it is clear some sort of electronic signal disabled the drone. One disappeared from radar, and the other was seen crashing into the water. Nor sooner or later, the boxer is going to finish its training up here in the northern Gulf and head back out through the Strait of Hormuz. And sooner or later, there's going to be another incident with Iran. Thanks, David.